Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Rama, and in today's video, I will be breaking into every deal, discount, and bonus money that you can make this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. You can see we got a whole bunch of cars that you're able to get your hands on, some of which are actually really, really good discounts this week. But we're going to start off all the way at the top with the two free vehicles. We have the Podium, which is the Hakachu Drag. If you're playing on next generation consoles, you can turn this into an HSW variant, making it the fastest motorcycle in the game and one of the best modes of transportation out there. So if you do get it for absolutely free, pretty dang sweet. It's not too expensive of a vehicle, though, only around $900,000 to purchase anyway. So not that big of a deal. But either way, the Hakachu Drag looks amazing and uh it's really nice that you can possibly get one for free we also have the warner hkr which i'll be honest is pretty mediocre i mean it's an expensive vehicle but that doesn't mean it's very good it doesn't handle too well it's customization's pretty cool though i will admit that do your hands on the warner hkr you need to place first two days in a row so pretty easy especially if you're smart and you just do these races with a friend i'd highly recommend to join my discord server linked in the description down below that way well not even the description as well you can just check the pinned comments but either way you can join and then find somebody to do races with this here is the canis castigator and it is the newest vehicle that is being added into gta this thursday and uh it looks pretty cool. I'll have a whole video up on this car later today, letting you know the customization, my personal thoughts on this vehicle, its top speed, its handling, lap time, everything like that, because I am very interested to see how it does do. It's in the SUVs class, which makes sense. It obviously looks like an SUV. It's clearly based off of some sort of Jeep. But yeah, we're going to have to see how this vehicle actually does. It's got a lot of customization for it. I'm really excited. Plus, I'm very interested to see if it can actually do well at off-roading because it kind of looks like an off-roader. I mean, Jeeps are inherently good at off-roading. So I guess we're going to find out. But either way, pretty cool looking vehicle. And we'll see what it's got going for it. Now we arrive to the discounted cars. And some of them are quite old and some have even been removed. First of all, we have the Grotti Itali GTO Stinger TT, which is one of the best Amani tech cars in the game. I know a lot of people don't love the handling of this vehicle, but personally, I think it's quite incredible. First of all, it's fast. It's the fastest Amani tech vehicle in the game, upwards of 170 miles per hour if you're running it with HSW upgrades. Not only that, but even if you're playing on PC like me or the old generation consoles, you're still going upwards of 130 plus miles per hour. It's not only fast, but it features full explosion resistance armor. It has a missile lock on jammer. It can drop slick mines, as we can see. It's just a really good vehicle in general. It is a fantastic pickup. And the fact that it is normally sitting at 2.4 million, but this week you can get it for 1.66 million, it's pretty good if you ask me. This is clearly based off of a Tesla Model S, if I'm not mistaken, at least. It's obviously a tesla of some sort this is the coil raiden a vehicle that was removed from the game the raiden's normally 1.4 million this week you can pick it up for 950,000. the raiden there's really nothing spectacular about it its handling isn't very good it's not great on customization doesn't have any liveries it's honestly a bit disappointing but it is still a cool car, and if you like electric vehicles, it's not a bad pickup, especially because it has been removed from the game. To get your hands on it, you are going to have to make your way, I'm pretty sure, over to Simeon's dealership or something like that. It's at one of the two places. This here is another removed vehicle, the Fister 811. Now, this is actually my personal Fister 811, and it has uh, slick tires on it, so as we can see, my handling is pretty bad on the vehicle. But the Fister 811 is still one of the fastest supercars available in the game. It is incredibly fast on acceleration. Plus, I just think this is one of the nicest looking cars. I absolutely love the design of this vehicle, obviously based off of a Porsche 918 Spider. It's just an incredibly nice vehicle in general, so I really like the Fister 811. Again, as I said, it is a removed vehicle, so you'll be able to pick it up at Simeon's dealership, and uh, it's normally 1.1 million. This week, you're able to pick it up for $800,000, which is actually not too bad. I mean, that's a pretty inexpensive price tag. The Fister is not the best on handling, but what it does do is just achieves a really good top speed. So if you're looking for a highway cruiser, the Fister 811 is the way to go. We have the Vapid Bullet. I'm not even going to bother to drive this vehicle. It's $150,000 with discount 100 k It is a removed vehicle, but like... Eh. 
There's nothing good about it. Its top speed is mediocre. Its handling is mediocre. It looks cool. Don't get me wrong. I like the four GT. It's a really cool looking vehicle, but it just doesn't have anything going for it. So we're going to skip past that and make our way to a really cool car, which is the narrow, the truffade narrow. Now this is obviously the custom variant, which you can bring over to Benny's and turn into an absolute beast. The narrow is a really fun vehicle. It costs normally 1.44 million. This week you can pick it up for 1 million and then you'll bring it over the Bennies for an additional chunk of cash and then you'll be able to turn it into the narrow custom. I would recommend it to the custom variant just because it looks so cool. It's got a lot of liveries. It's got a digital speedometer which we can see looks amazing. This is a pretty fast vehicle as we can see upwards of 130 miles per hour just driving down the road here. It's very quick and it's got really good handling and it's one of the better supercars even though it isn't talked about all too much. So I actually think that a lot of people really should put their hands on narrow and uh it's a really good vehicle especially for the discount so i would recommend to pick that up we have the dinka kanja or kanjo sj um it's all right i guess there's really nothing too spectacular about it it's a tuner car if you like customization you like this type of vehicle you can pick it up you can customize it normally you're looking at 1.4 million this week you can pick it up for nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars. so it is discounted 30%. It's decent, I guess, but personally, I really couldn't care too much about it. And then we arrive to the final discounted supercar, which is the Overflawed Tyrant. I always find it a little goofy how large this vehicle is. I mean, look at the size of it compared to these other cars here. I think Rockstar accidentally made it just a little bit too large. The Tyrant is very quick, but it's kind of ugly. I don't love the back of it. I know some people might, but I don't love the back design. And not only that, but it doesn't feature that good handling. Its top speed is decent, though, so at least it's got that going for it. It's not a bad supercar. It's just not a good supercar. It's very mediocre. The Tyrant is normally a very expensive 2.5 million. This week, you can get it for uh, 1.75, so it is quite a big discount. Apart from cars being discounted, we also have apartments. All apartments are 30% off. If you don't own apartments or you don't own all of the apartment slots, I would highly recommend to pick them up this week because you never know if you need garage space and it's one of the more important purchases that you can make. So that is all the discounts and deals, but there's one final thing we obviously want to break into and that is the double money and that is for the new Martin Madrazo hits that are being added into the game. These hits are going to be pretty simple. They're kind of like the mod missions or even better yet, the payphone hit missions. That's kind of what they remind me of where you got to go find somebody and kill them. You don't have to do it in a unique way though. Usually you just have to kill the person for the Madrazo missions and they are double money this week which is really nice so you're going to be able to get $60,000 per each mission instead of $30,000 and if you complete three of them you're going to get $100,000 for career progress so you're actually going to get a pretty decent amount of money doing them I think you're only able to do them though if you do own a bail office it's not confirmed yet but that's what everybody's speculating so that's what I'll speculate as well hopefully you enjoyed today's video and let me know if you did obviously please consider smashing that subscribe button down below and if you'd like to see more content like this in the future you know what to do also, holy crap, my car got dirty. All right, I'll see ya. Bye-bye.